So we've already seen in Playwright the locator and record new tests tools, which you can run directly from within Visual Studio Code. And we can use the pick locator option on our web page to identify objects that we want to interact with or inspect. And when we select those objects, we get the locator displayed within Visual Studio. But there is another standalone tool that's, um, that's very useful and can be used to help you construct your tests and identify locators. It's not directly initialized from within Visual Studio Code, but you can do, um, you do view terminal and you execute this code here, npx playwright code gen, and then the name of the web page that you want to navigate directly to. So you can run it directly from within Visual Studio Code, or if you've got a command prompt, you can run it directly from a, a command prompt as well, npx playwright code gen, and then the name of the web page. And if you run that, what you'll get is this playwright inspector tool that opens up when you run that command, allows you to record tests in much the same way as we did previous in one of the other lessons. And as we interact with our application, you'll see that we add test steps to the test panel, test case panel at the top here. And we can also use the locator again to identify objects that we might want to interact with. And then we can see and copy the locator code that Playwright will generate. We can jump back into record mode again if we need to, if we want to continue to record in our script. And we can use the assert visibility, assert text, and assert value options in the toolbar as well to add expect statements to our script that we're recording. And once we've completed the recording of that script, we can, of course, copy that. And then we can use that as the basis of um, a further test that we might want to add to one of our test specifications, or we can create a completely new test, test specifications if required as well. So it's a useful little tool that I found helps me sort of in a sandpit environment, experiment a bit with some of the tests and work out locators before I add them into my formal test specifications within Visual Code Studio. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at executing tests within the Visual Studio environment and how to execute them from the command line too.